Thank you to Rush Chance for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to go check out Rush Chance and use my referral code PAPLITO to get a free 50 cents to use on their site. And please make sure to gamble responsibly and only if you're over 18. At the end of last week's video, I logged off for the night. And when I woke up the next day, I had a message from Dakota saying that someone was trying to offline raid us. And surprise, surprise, I woke up to some oh, people yeah, in the front of my base. Yikes. Are you dead? No, no, no. <laughs> I spawned into a fucking pool of fire. They just broke the shotgun trap, uh, the flame trap. Oh, they haven't broken it yet. Okay. Bunch. Do you know if they like landed? Did... No, they're a small decay. Okay. Decayed, really? They must have burned. There's one on them. All dead. Okay. What was that you were saying about being bad? <laughs> Did I oh the hell he's gone, it was bad. Do you have a door? Um, I did not want to just take one off this side. Oh! Whoa. There was no name? I was like, there was no name? Wow! <laughs> I always knew you just wanted to try and kill me! <laughs> Literally, there's no name. There was no green dot uh, over you. And guess what? There's people coming back in. Come on out. Get him? Yep. Okay. I can't believe he just murdered me. Did you kill any of them outside, any looting? I got all the loot. Okay. Why are these walls missing? Well, we got a stack in 29 of explosive ammo. Nice. I'm so confused why there's so many walls missing. And let's say, like, Heli came out or something, can they use that to break the walls? But nothing else is damaged. But, like,. There's a wall missing over there too. That's what makes it weird. Yeah, I think someone fucking like using our base for heli or something. Cause my electric shit's all broke as well. Well, they've got to be the easiest kits we got to wipe. And just like that, Dakota clutched up, and it was clearly too easy for her. She then decided she had to kill me too, just to make things interesting. But once we had patched the compound and base up, we went towards the train yard in search of a bit of farm and PvP. I get one more burst like that. I'm going. Could be an explorer. <laughs> I'm already heading out there. I'm just gonna loop blue room. We're pretty much at it now. Got a scan for a swipe. It's empty up here. Hit him. I hit him. Nice. Catch a woman dead. Catch a woman. Okay. Depending on how much they have, we might be able to finish this. 17 on this guy. And this dude never had any. Wow. Such great loot. <laughs> Want any uh, wolf skulls? Oh, I'm taking these seeds. That is Paul. Someone's. I see two people on the boat, one on the back, one on the front. Oh, there's someone on the side. There's four people on there. Oh, got hit. Oh, my God. I hit him. <laughs> he's dead, he's dead. Hit him twice. Another guy, another guy, another guy. Yeah. I 
shot hit him. He should be dead. Yeah, he's down. Let's go. Easy. Unstoppable. We had plans to raid one of our neighbours who had been door camping us earlier in the wipe and in part 1. So we took a bit of C4 we got from an airdrop, plus the explo ammo we got from defending our base earlier, to see how far we could get and what we could do. Ooh. Is he up on it? Not sure. Oh my god, I might die here. There's people behind as well. I think all dead. That is not the way. Kevin. Okay. He's hard to break. Uh, apparently not, nope. Good luck doing it whenever you're under pressure. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! This is it! <laughs> no, come on! Oh! <laughs> Jesus! That was so close! I was contemplating oh. blocking you. Hey! Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh. oh. Better than nothing. Now before we continue on with the video, I just want to remind you guys that my brand new merch, the thumbnail collection, is now available. 
on pablitoshop.com. So if you guys are interested in checking it out, please do so by clicking the link down below and you never know, you might find something you like. Personally, this new design is my favorite one I've done so far and it looks amazing in a variety of different colors along with the choice of a solid color hood or to go for the full pan all over. So do me a favor, even if you don't want to buy one, just go check them out. Let me know what you think about them. Give me some feedback. It would mean a lot and I appreciate it. Now let's get back to the video very quickly come to realize that our neighbors were pretty poor and it most likely wouldn't be worth using any more explosives on their base to try and find any loot so we gave up so confused. Oh. oh okay perfect timing yeah, yeah. yeah i think it's in the swamp or past the swamp um it can't be much further than the swamp right oh there you go Ooh. there's a two by two of armor on it it could be that yeah, that probably gets weak in this base. Jumping in. I think they use little rockets. Oh, shaking my head. It's on 20 health. Oh. <laughs> Wanna continue hammering? <laughs> Fucking hit. Oh. Explode ammo. Okay, I can shoot out TC. Good to go. Yeah. Not bad. They're not here. Yeah, it's fucking bamboo. Just run. If the name seems familiar, that's because it's the guys we just killed in the raid. They came back to camping, so I spawned back on an outside bag to follow them to see where they lived, and unsurprisingly they live very close by. I think one of them just got killed by a fucking reaver. He did. They live in the big base right here. Oh, the chat base. But right now though, we couldn't really do any revenge seeking or anything like that. As one, we didn't have a rocket so we couldn't raid them, at least not efficiently online. And two, they stayed in their base for a while. So in the meantime, we tried to go and do some stuff to get ourselves a rocket, such as counter oil rig and take cargo. I see one, no, I don't see anyone. Actually, one person. See two, three, four. Okay. One is dead. Nice. Kill the one at the crane in a second. Oh, one you no, no, no. Uh, there's two on top of red. Now we may have died, but we also killed quite a few of them on there because between me and Dakota we killed four of them, leaving one or two left. So we immediately spawned back at base, geared up, and took our last teddy back to try and finish off the counter. As long as we get back before their teammates do, we're good. I died by a dude named Red Panda. Is that a scrap teddy in front of us? I think it is. It's coming towards us. Oh, you think they dipped? Maybe. He might have fucking dipped with my AK, honestly. Yeah, it's one guy. Naked on the roof. I'm fucking just yeeting it in. Dead. Broke that jump up. Oh, naked. Yeah, they did. I'm blue. Yeah. 
it on mini bro? Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy clappers. Careful for outpost. <laughs> I don't know what gods have smiled upon us, but we managed to catch the last dude coming back with a majority of the oil rig loot. So now that we had the scrap heli, we decided to fly back out to the oil rig and pick up what they couldn't. As there was two of us and only one of him, so he clearly missed stuff. Hey, didn't even touch the airdrops. Yeah, let's go. Got a HE fine. launcher and HEs. <clears throat> Is that I think they just bought another mini. <laughs> they flying back to that base with? Uh, there was someone flying in that direction. Well, I hope they don't fucking. Oh no. Oh! I'm going to the safe zone. He blew me up. He blew me up right outside the base. What? <sighs> Fuck. I have a bad close, but their base is also very close. He just dive bombed into me. Yeah. I guess you can say greed kills. That was some pretty unfortunate timing for us, just like what we did to them. But to make things even worse, neither us or them recovered any of the loot. Unfortunately, someone else did, and that someone else just happened to be Mikey. Oh, I'm sure if I can make so now they had moved up to the very top of our shit list. Losing all that loot like that after just managing to get it back was quite demoralizing. So we ended up taking a break for the rest of the night and starting our search for a rocket again the next day. And to be honest with you, when we got on the next day things couldn't have gone any better. We noticed that there was a Chinook crate out at the airfield, so we went over to go check it out and somebody had already started it, but there was no one around. So we hung around and waited for it to open and surprise surprise, there it was. The one blueprint we've been looking for all white. A rocket. So we took it back to base and BP'd it straight away. Now this meant we had to go out and whack some nodes in order to be able to make some boom to be able to raid Mikey. We had to pass Mikey's base on the way to the snow, so as we flew past, we checked it out. And that's when we noticed something was a little bit off. Still no electrical stuff. There is a ladder up beside their base in the way. The corner of their base is missing. No! On the window floor, you see that? Like it's been broken? Look at the bottom! No! Are we looking? We're looking. No way. Oh. They stole our fucking raid. Motherfuckers. Feels bad, man. So unfortunate. So unfortunately, somebody had already beat us to raiding Mikey. And to be honest with you, it kind of sucked. They became our main raid target and we wanted to give them an online raid. But like I said, somebody just beat us to it. And after finding that out, we were both pretty demoralized. But we decided to head into the snow anyway and try and get some farm in case we could find something else we wanted to raid. That's when we actually heard a raid going on and decided to go counter. Oh, oh okay. Oh, I think it's like I-19 somewhere. No, it's further than that. Wait, no, wait, what? Oh, I see it. It's just behind the gas station. They've got a heli there as well, we can yoink. Oh, he's going for the heli. Oh, there's two people in the hell. Really? I can't tell if they're geared or not. Yeah, they're full gear. I'm gonna wait for pilot to get in and I'm gonna shoot him. The the hell Hit him again. Hit him again, he's down. Finished him. It's the first boat for the win, they got no idea. <laughs> seen me. I'm pushing up to the base. He's Got him. I see if 
people. They got a bunch of shit on them. I can't fucking... Why are we fooled? I like it. I can drop... I'm gonna drop my metal. Metal too. Okay. okay. Heavy landing up the hill. You have a laundry truck? I got a ball. Yeah, I got LR here. I fled low. So after a pretty successful run in the snow, plus getting all that loot from the counter raid, we started to fly around the map in search of a base we could raid. Now we did find this one here and we did raid it, but there was just absolutely nothing in the base. So honestly it's not even worth showing. So after that raid we found ourselves flying around a bit looking for another base to raid. That's when we noticed one of our close neighbours had built up a compound, so we thought it might be a pretty juicy raid to sink the last of our rockets into before we leave the server. Jumping. He is big dead. Oh my shit, this is wrong. Seems very familiar. Is it clay down there? Yeah, you're good to come down. Okay, so just a little cool. Oh, I cheated the last bit. The raid didn't end up being profitable, but I mean that didn't really matter as we were planning on leaving the server shortly afterwards anyway. We ran around for a bit trying to look for a bit of PvP, but there just really wasn't anything left to do. So at that point, we just called it and finished up for the wipe. So I do hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, you, got, you guys know what to do, you know, just, just give the like button a good old smack and hit the sub button if you haven't already. And if you really want to go the next step, make sure you follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, join my Discord, you know, all that fun stuff as always. And of course, once again, if you do want to check out any of my merch, the link will be down in the description below. I'd appreciate it even if you just looked at it. You know, give me a bit of feedback, that'd be awesome. But yeah, once again, appreciate you guys watching, and as always, stay safe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you.